I was lying. Okay, so I'm gonna try to share myself out in you know, a live stream. So otherwise no one is going to be aware that I'm live. So let me speak. Yes. For sharing myself up. I think he's going to come out. Once he hears my voice, he's going to come out. I'm so 100% sure of that one. Yeah, that one. Okay, so I'm just going to get into it. Thank you all for joining, if anybody's here already. So let me see if I can follow it here. Okay, oh, I don't think it's clear. Is it? Yeah, I think it's okay. Thank you so much. All right, so for those of you who are here already, I just wanted to say thank you for joining this live stream. And if you get to watch this video, if you get to watch the replay, just know that we are live, so there might be lapses and delays here and there. Please bear with me. And for those of you who are here, I see two people already. I need you to know that this is not my regular channel. This is a new channel that, well, I'm just trying to, because I want to kind of like separate things. The other channel you guys know, or many of you know, is for entertainment, gossip, and all the good stuff. And this one is travel and lifestyle. So this um, house tour has been scheduled like six years ago. Like it's actually six years late, um, but I'm quite happy. Thank you. Thank you, this, this DK squad. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm quite happy that finally I can do this tour. I don't know if I should be nervous, but I'm excited about it. So thank you all for joining. Please do me a favor to share the video, share it with your friends, share it within your community. Um, and I also want to thank my husband for allowing me to do this house tour. To be honest, I was nervous when I asked him if I could do it, and he said yes. So I was like, yes, finally. So let's get right into it. Um, why am I even doing this live, live uh, house tour? Um, well, as you know, this channel is travel and lifestyle. So we do everything travel and lifestyle, apparently. Um, so six years ago, we moved into this house and I planned as a lifestyle vlogger to do a house tour. That is what we usually do as YouTubers. You do a before and after. So you do like an empty house tour, like when you just get the keys to the house, you kind of like show people around, you tell them about the house, how many rooms and all of that. Um, but I didn't get to do an empty house tour. I was postponing and postponing and then of course we moved in. So now we have renovated a few things. So it's not empty at the moment. We've been here for six years. Um, we've renovated a few things, but we are not through with renovation. So we are still working on the house. 
Um, what else should I say? Yes, so this is like a midi, it's not really a before, it's not an after, so it's just like in between. I'm gonna be showing you things that we still need to work on on the house. So please share this video if you're here, and if you're not here, you get to watch it on another day. So let me, I think I'm just gonna ignore this phone so that I don't get distracted, so that I can focus on why we are here. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna start, I'm gonna show you guys around the house. Um, like I said, we moved in here six years ago, and okay, we'll get into that later. Um, so I'm just gonna show you around the house. It's a house in the Flevoland province of the Netherlands. It, like on the outskirts of Amsterdam. And we moved in here because houses here are quite affordable compared to Amsterdam. I lived in Amsterdam for 14 years. And when we were ready to settle down, to start living together, we decided to move out of Amsterdam. And my husband decided to move out of where he was at the time. So we both came together here. And yeah, um, this house is about 111 meters square and it has five rooms meaning four bedrooms and one living room. That's how it's calculated in Dutch. So if you have a house with seven rooms, those would be six bedrooms and one living room. But ours is five rooms, yeah? So this is the entrance. So when you come into the house, this is the corridor, this is what you see, and this is what it looks like. We still need to hang something over there. It's still empty, it's still, can you show it? Okay. <laughs> All right, so. It's still empty, it's, something still has to go in there. You can come in. So it's raining. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain. So once you come into the house, on the right here, I'm just going to, sorry, I'm just going to put it off. On the right here, you have this storage space where we use for our shoes. So when we have guests, we always ask them to put your shoes there and we also put our shoes here. So one thing that I love about this house is the amount of storage space that it has. So there is a room, there is a space, there is a locker for everything. So we don't have too much stuff hanging here and there. That is one thing that I love about this house, but I'm going to be showing you guys more. So once we pass the entrance, we go, oh, I was already forgetting the toilet. So this is the toilet downstairs. So whenever we are downstairs, we use this one. When we are upstairs, we use the one upstairs. So we still have to renovate this toilet. This is the one we met here. Um, we were supposed to do it, I think, three years ago, but it never happened. But we are still going to do it. So you can come take a look. It's a very, very basic, conventional toilet. Nothing so serious or complex about it. Just the basic toilet that we all know. Yes. Okay. And here we have like a garderobe, if that's what it's called. Here's where we keep our jackets and bags and other stuff. I have my merchandise there. You guys know I have a web shop, so I put some of my stuff there. And yeah, so like I said, lots of storage space in this place. Um, and then when you come in here, you move into the living area. Let's switch on the light. So this is my favorite part of this house, this open space. This is actually one of the reasons I fell in love with this house. Whenever I come downstairs, like especially when the weather is nice, I have that Scandinavian feeling, like you just come in here, everywhere is open, and you know, the light flashes on you, and it just really makes you, it, it keeps you awake, like, okay, you know, this is really good living. Um, the garden, as you can see, we still have a lot of work to do there. That is the old garden we met here. We still want to renovate. Um, we want to change the, the tiles, tiles yeah, the bricks on the floor. We also want to change the terrace, and we also want to remove the apple tree. I hate, well, I don't, I can't say I hate it, but I think we have to get rid of it. But my husband is like skeptical about it. I've been begging him for six years to get rid of it, but maybe we are going to get rid of it once we are ready to renovate. The so that corner over there, well, I'm gonna tell you guys all about that. But the flowers that you see here were plucked from the garden. So we also steal from the garden sometimes. All right, and here is the dining area. That is a beautiful fireplace. Um, that is decorated right now, but during winter, 
what we do is we get um, switch it up so that um, we get heat from it. If that makes sense. So right now there is no heat coming because this is summer, but when it's winter, we can switch it oh. on so that um, it generates heat. Yeah, this is the dining area. And from here, you go to the kitchen. I'm going to get some spring. Um, so here is where I cook. <laughs> what can I say about the kitchen? Okay, so the shelves you see here are old. We met them here. We didn't change them. But see about that. Who else is down there? What's this up? All right, so the shelves are old, like I said. The only things we replace are the microwave, the oven, and the fridge. And the story behind the fridge is um, this used to be the inbuilt fridge. The owners of the the old owners of the house told us that the fridge broke and they called someone to repair and the person gave them the bill and the price was crazy. And they were like, instead of us to pay that amount of money, we'd rather you know get another fridge. So they converted this into a pantry, and that is what I also use it for. So it used to be a fridge, an inbuilt fridge, and now we just use it as our pantry. All the African foods. And then we got the, the piano black American style um, fridge to go. So, and the reason we got black is because, as you can already tell, maybe the theme of our house is black and white with a touch of gold. So we knew that our fridge had to be black. So that um, explains it. And another thing I wanted to remind you guys of is the amount of storage space in this house. You can see all the shelves here, like all the shelves. We can't even use everything. So it's really, um, it's really a lot, a lot of space. That's why we don't have so many things hanging everywhere. And I also love this. This is our pharmacy. <laughs> A little pharmacy, we have everything ranging from uh, paracetamol, spewy, uh, plaster, so I love that. So yeah, more than enough space for us to. So I think it's time for us to go upstairs. Okay. So we actually installed this gate because of our son when he was crawling. So just for safety reasons, I'm gonna turn on this light. All right, let's go. Hold on, let me close the door. He left the door open. Hold on. All right, you can come. Okay, so here is the first floor. Uh, here you see four doors. That is my dressing room. That is the master's bedroom, our room. This is our baby's room, and this is the bathroom. Let me see how many people are here so that I know if to ask you guys which room you want to see first. I would also enable to take a little break. Okay, only one person. So we are not going to ask, or maybe I should just ask you if you're here, if you want to comment, tell me which room you want to see first. Otherwise, we're just going to do the... Which room? Which room? Hmm. Okay, let's do the baby's room first. Yeah. Okay, so here is our little boy's room. The room also has a color theme, as you can see. Uh, I don't know what color I would call this. I think in Dutch it's anthracite. I don't know how it's called in English. I think gray. Beige. Beige. Okay. So that's the same color with the bed, and this is actually a bed sitter. We can convert it into a bed, an actual bed. So yeah, when we have lots of people in the house, like family coming over from abroad. We can also let a few people stay in here and some other people stay in the guest room upstairs that I'm going to show you in a bit. So it's just a basic kiddies room. Yeah, that's, I think that's about it. And 
This is actually what he used when he was a tiny little baby. This is where we baited him. And I don't even know why this thing is still here. He's almost three years old now. Like still there, those are his toys and basic room, nothing special. Um, okay, so let's go. I'm gonna take you guys, wait, I'm gonna remove this thing. So here's my dressing room. Here is where I get dressed every day. Here is where I get confused every day. Like, okay, what am I gonna wear? Um, so I kind of like separated everything like on the right, on my right, on your left, um, I have my shoes and here I have my clothes. And here is my dressing table with my makeup, cosmetics and other stuff. Also very basic, um, but quite okay. And the fact that, the fact that um, I don't have to put all my stuff in our master's bedroom and just occupy the whole because you know women are just crazy with stuff shoes bags i'm not really a bag um free but shoes i'm crazy about shoes um so my husband has his own wardrobe in our bedroom with three doors also so he also has more than enough space but um i think let me just show you how i arranged the stuff here so it's more or less okay here are like dresses those are like skirts here are like my favorite dresses so I kind of like put the thing that I love most here. This is a skirt that I've never worn. And here I just put like regular stuff that I use every day. And here I put a few other stuff. So nothing so dramatic. And here I put also a few other stuff, bags here and there. And there I put my recording gear. Let me see if I can use the flashlight here. Put my recording. Recording gear. I have my little ring light there. It's a bit broken, but it still works, and a few other things. So, here, oh. all right, here is the bathroom. That's the main bathroom. When we are upstairs, we use this one. Um, we actually renovated this part of the bathroom, of the toilet, yeah, the toilet. So this is a hanging toilet. The old one used to be the conventional type, the type that you just saw downstairs. And we were like, okay, at least for us, we should have something a bit modern, um, a bit stylish. And then we went for the hanging thingy. And we actually did this three years ago, right? And then we also changed this, we changed this, we changed, or rather, we installed this, we also installed this, and I am crazy about storage space. Like the reason a lot of people feel like their house is too clumsy or it's not stylish or posh enough is because they have too many things littered everywhere and no space to store them. And I am crazy about space. Like everything has to be stashed away. I get really disorganized in my mind and in my head if I see so many things. Although I'm also disorganized sometimes, like in my dressing room, sometimes it's a mess. But like in the rest of the house, I like things to be like where they are supposed to be. So for example, we have here, um, just to give you an idea of how we kind of like cluttered things. Um, so that's what we have there. And here we have, my lady stuff, my man's or my husband's stuff there, and toiletries. Yeah, and that's my man's uh, towel, in case you guys are wondering what he cleans his body with. That's my towel. The white one is mine. So, I think it's a good time for us to go upstairs. Oh, I forgot to mention, we also changed this, this glass thing, because the one that was there when we came wasn't actually bad, it was still okay, but it was old. And I felt like other people had used it. I want something new, something fresh. And then I told my husband and then we did this one. He actually chose this design because the old design was kind of curved like that. And my husband was like, no, you, we need more space. And this one was a bit more spacious. And the door can go both ways. So if we want more space, we just open it or close it further. And then we're good to go. So. If you guys want to change your bathroom, make sure that you can take at least two people. 
Um, so here is our bedroom, like I said, the master's bedroom. And this is the only room in this house that I'm not going to be showing you guys. At least I'm laying it all bare now, but I, I, I should be able to keep some things to myself. So this room, maybe some other time, but today I don't just feel like it. it's right, if that makes sense. So for now, we are. But you should know that this is where the magic happens, or one of the places the magic I'm not the one that said it, so. <laughs> okay, so we can go upstairs. Let me see. Should I go first? All right. So we, let me turn on the light. Okay, I'm wearing heels, by the way, because, and that was the last time I wore heels. So if anything happens, someone is going to catch me. All right, that's the last floor we are going to. Okay, uh -huh. so here you have the laundry room and here you have the guest room, what we use as the guest room. And the guest room is the biggest room in this house. And that's also one of the things Oh, no network. Yeah, it's working. Sometimes network is like shaky here. Yeah? So yeah, storage space. I fell in love with this house. My husband was like, mm, this area, this neighborhood, the, the design of the house is like the exterior. He was like, let me turn on the light. I was like, the amount of storage space, you know, to have a room for everything just blows my mind. And I know how small things are in Amsterdam, where I was living for so many years. So for me to have this amount of space, I was like, husband, please, please. please. So here is where we do our laundry. And here is the guest room. Turn on the light. So <laughs> I actually use it a bit like storage, because you can see some of our traveling bags here that I still need to put away. I have space for them, but I just need to make time to put them away. Let me see if you can have some light here. Okay, that was my phone. All right. So here is the room that we still plan to work on. We want to kind of like break that side open so that we have that capel. I don't know how you say that capel in English but it's a system whereby they break this part of the wall open so that you have more space there and then we can put a demarcation then we have two rooms so this is actually very big it's like the entire length of the whole of the house so sometimes i do my um ironing there it's something i'm supposed to do in the laundry room but because there is nobody here all year long sometimes so i just feel like let me just do it here have more space to work. And here is our little library with my books. Oh my God, I need to drink. <laughs> I'm in such a bad shape. Just a little exercise and I'm panting. Okay, so here is our little library with books that we hardly read. I wanna start reading again, by the way. And those are cards. I'm crazy about cards. Like, I don't know if my husband still remembers. I got those ones from him, Lady in My Life the one I love and you know when we were still dating um so yeah just a few other things that I don't want to let be around the house this is my album before I got married to this man let's see what do we... oh my god I still look so young and that's my husband's album before he got married to this girl here so I think the albums are actually the only thing we brought into this house. Oh my God, there goes my pictures, but I'm gonna let them slide. The albums, oh my God, look at this one. Oh my God, when I, when I was still a model. <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> oh my god. I didn't plan for this to fall. So oh my god. Secondary school. Secondary school. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, good memory. I think I'm just gonna sit down one day and look at all my old pictures. So like I was saying, the albums are actually the only things we brought into this house. Every other thing we ordered, we bought every other thing new. We brought the albums and we brought our clothes along. So, because I know, or I've heard about Ghanaians who when they get married, the wife will come along with her television, the man will come along with his television and then they have two television sets in their house. I don't know if that's just like a cliche thing if people say stereotype, but I've heard it a few times, but we didn't do it that way. We just came in here together empty-handed, except for our albums, clothes, shoes, and then every other thing we just bought together. So, um, my PGK from school. Okay, so here is another storage space. So this is actually supposed to be where the guest uses to store their things, their clothes, but blessing still uses this space to store her things. We don't have light here. The, the bulb is broken, I think. We don't have light here. So um, yeah, I still have some of my jackets there. I have some shoes, some things, and we put towels and beddings. And my merchandise, you guys know I have a web shop where I sell a few items, bnvshop.com, just in case you want to check it out. I have some of my other merchandise down there. And whenever anybody places an order, here is where I come to do the work, packaging, and all of that. So I think we have seen all of the house. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. Um, I don't think so. Let me see. There. Okay, so another thing that I wanted to talk with you guys about is how you also can become a house owner. I don't know if I mentioned this before, we purchased this house six years ago. And when we purchased it, we weren't even planning to buy a house, but situations pushed us. Oh, no network, no network. <laughs> Oh, it's slow. Let's turn off the line. So, situations pushed us to purchase. We didn't plan to. Um, but I think, let me see. Where is it? Is it downstairs? Okay. Then we should just take here since it's downstairs. So, I planned in this video to tell you guys also like how you can also do it. Like I said, we weren't planning for it. It just happened. But there were processes we went through and it was possible for us. And we didn't even know if it could be possible for us. Kosia. Magnet, eh? Wait for mommy, okay? Okay, mommy is coming, okay? Yeah, this is looking okay. So I'm going to round up. I'm going to round up um, pretty soon because my son is missing me. But I was actually planning to do like um, to tell you guys through the processes we went through to be able to purchase this house and to also maybe show you guys some things that you might not know that we didn't know about buying a house in the Netherlands. And the requirements are very similar across Europe, but I don't think I would be able to do that because of all, all the things happening now with my kid and I should prepare him for bed. And I'm quite late with this video. That's why you notice I'm like being in a hurry with what I'm saying, but I wanna do another video, if you guys don't mind, where I'll kind of like tell you the 10 steps to follow if you want to purchase a house. And it is really, really not rocket science. It is not complex. It is not complicated. Of course, there are some things you have to do. There are some requirements you have to meet, but it is really possible. It is really, really achievable. 
So I really want to talk you guys through that to also share my experience with you guys and how we went about it and also see if I can help one or two people with advice or where to go. So I want to do that in another video. If you want to watch that video, please go ahead, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this is not my regular channel. That is why you don't see a lot of people here on the stream. This is like a new channel. I think I have about 100 subscribers here. So this is not the Blessing Unja channel that you guys know. So please go ahead, subscribe to this one. This one is Blessing Unja Travel and Lifestyle. Subscribe so that once that video drops, you guys are going to be able to watch it. Um, I don't know when that is going to be, but I, I might do a pre-recorded version of it or I might just do a live stream so that you guys can call in and ask questions. But there are really 10 basic steps that you guys need to follow. But let me just give you like a sneak peek. The first step is you need to be working. You need to have an income, even if you're not working. If you don't have an employer, like a place you go to work, you should have a stable income. That is one of the things the bank is going to ask you. Not unless you have cash. If you have 300,000 euros cash that you're able to pay and just purchase a house, you don't need to work. But maybe you might have to prove how you got the money, like the, the legitimacy behind it. Um, but if you don't have that much money, we didn't have 300,000 euros. So um, we just had to go through the mortgage process which i'm also going to be telling you guys all about like really lay it back for you guys to see how easy it is it is really really not too complex like i said there are steps to be followed but it is achievable for every everybody okay um like i said the first step is have an income so if you guys are thinking of hmm, maybe i also want to become a house owner if you are not already one um, maybe you should watch out for that next video but before then, if you're not working, please start working towards getting a job to have a stable income. And of course, there are also requirements as to how much money you should earn. And that is where the advice of maybe buying together with someone, maybe buying together with your husband, your wife, your friend even. It doesn't have to be someone you're in a relationship with. It could be a friend. You know, so, so many things that I want to share in that video. So please subscribe. Give this one a thumbs up. And I think I'm just going to round off this one. All right. So I think I'm just going to round off this one. And I want to thank you all for being here. Share the video if you haven't already. Thank you to my husband for helping me out today and also for letting me do this to show our house. So watch out and I will catch you guys on my next one. All right, let me go to my baby.